What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be comparing the Minibus 2 to the Puddle Jumper Duffel for you. Both have a crossbody strap that has the removable padded slider, and the straps can be removed from both bags. The bags are similar in size and are both east-west oriented, but they're laid out pretty differently. You can fit any size lug wallet in the front bottom pocket of the Minibus, and in the Duffel you can fit up to a kickflip in that long front pocket. With the duffel, you're going to get puddle jumper style pockets on the front panel plus a cell phone pocket. And with the minibus, you're going to get two front pockets, the one behind it having a fleece lined cargo pocket and two pen holders, plus a cell phone pocket. The zippers on the minibus are a little chunkier and make more of a statement, whereas on the duffel, they sort of blend in more and are a bit smaller. The cell phone pockets on both of these bags are extremely generous. You're going to be able to fit any size cell phone in either of these bags. If side cargo pockets are important to you, remember you're not going to get them with the minibus, but you are going to get them with the duffel. The next pocket we're looking at is the same on both bags. It's the padded pocket that you can put your laptop or your tablet in. The main compartment of the duffel is going to have organization on its walls and a large cavern. The minibus is not going to have any organizational features. This is where they intended for you to put the insulated pouch that they included with this bag. On one side of the duffel, you're going to get two clear view pockets that share a zipper. And on the other wall, you're going to get three stretchy cargo pockets. None of them are soft lined. And above that, you're going to get a privacy zip pocket. And in the last compartment of the minibus, you're going to get one clear view pocket. One thing I also forgot to include in the footage is the bottom shot of the bag. The minibus is going to have the four feet and the duffel is going to have four feet plus the wipeable bottom. So to make up for not having any cargo pockets on the side of the minibus, they did include that insulated pouch. This does come in handy and you can use it for your other bags as well. Where the minibus had two pen holders in its front pocket, the duffel is going to have them in its back pocket. The trolley sleeves on these bags are different. The minibus is going to have a thin strap with a Velcro closure, and the duffel is going to have a flat, large panel with no closure at all. They both have anti-slip grip handles. The minibus is going to have them on the underside. The duffel is going to have them 360 around the top and bottom. And here is some footage of my husband modeling the bags for me. Thanks for watching, everybody.